share with you how I facilitate um, the breathing in a breathwork session so that you can kind of get used to it and you can kind of practice it on your own. Um, when I first started doing breathwork about 13 years ago, um, I was really engaged in the very fast, aggressive breathing. <sighs> and that is awesome and it works great. But I found over the years that I didn't have to go that aggressive on it if I didn't want to. So really what I teach now is just this breath. So the, the emphasis is a little bit more on the exhale than it is on the inhale. So you're letting go of more carbon, di car carbon dioxide than you are of the oxygen. So you're breathing like this. Your mouth is open. Your mouth is in a ha position. So everything's nice and relaxed in your jaw. Take a deep breath. See how my exhale, as soon as the, the end of my exhale, right back comes up into the inhale. And at the end of the inhale, right back comes into the exhale. And I use my, my shoulders and my chest to kind of exaggerate a little bit, but I'm also wanting to use my diaphragm. So again, it sounds like... <sighs> So if you continue to do that and you don't stop, you can have a great time. But when I'm doing breath work, I'll probably just do it at that pace for five minutes or so. And then we'll get into something that, some kind of breathing that expands us more to kind of get us used to what it feels like to take a full breath like we're, we normally don't do. So the full breath is more like... super big inhale as big as we can and then super long extended exhale so that all the air and all the toxins are being squeezed out so you're thinking about your lungs at the bottom bottom of your lungs that there's some maybe some stagnant air down there so you want to get all that stuff out of there then I start moving to more of a, a rhythmic breathing <sighs> continue that for probably 10 minutes and thrown in between there about every I don't know five ten minutes I'll do a breath lock and the breath lock is where you're taking three deep breaths and you're holding on the fourth inhale so it looks like they say we're just breathing and I call breath lock and so you would go and you hold that breath until you hear the word release. So, of course, if you're on your own, then you, you do it at your own pace. But that's how I work it through the breath work. <clears throat> and then after that, so I'm kind of peppering that, how I feel. Um, and I, I tend to do more breath locks when I see that somebody isn't really engaging as much as they could. So if they're doing the breath work and they're just going, then I'm going to throw in a lot of breath locks. Because if, if I've told them, you know, very clearly how to breathe and their and their ego has got a hold of them and they're not um, fully engaging, I'm going to try a bunch of breath locks and see if I can get them to engage. Because if we can just push through that the wall of the ego and they can take themselves to a, a really beautiful place. So after some breath locks and after some rhythmic breathing, then I'll give them about five minutes of just normal breath. And depending, again, on how the person is doing, if they're really having some emotional release and they're really having a hard time, then I'll, I'll give them some uh, slow down breath and just some normal breath just to relax some things again so they don't completely freak out. Um, and then if someone is getting tetany where the, the hands and fingers are locking up, um, then I'll slow it down too so they can kind of relax through that. Um, it's, to me, it's all symptoms that they're holding on too tight so I need to kind of take it down a notch and let them settle down and then come back into it so I do this up down kind of thing about two or two to three times again it all depends on how everything's going and what I'm feeling in the moment and I've been doing this for so long that I, I really start to get in tune with um, their their moment of grace you know their their moment and they're like you know when they when they've experienced God you know you can feel it in the room and 
you can feel it in their body. You can you can tap into that, and uh, they might may not do anything physically, but you can feel what's happening, and uh, it's a beautiful place to be in. So when I feel that, you know, words may come out of my mouth that say yes, 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 or love, love. You know, just kind of keep on activating that and bring that into a um, uh, fruition, you know, expand that just a little bit more so they fully feel that and experience that. And then I let them have their, their own time to go over wherever they want to go and talk to whoever they want to talk to and journey to wherever they're journeying. And, um, uh, and then after that, uh, if I can, if I'm running the, the breath work at my house or something where I have access to food, um, I want them to eat some crackers or something crunchy because it, it gets people grounded again. So um, if I'm not at my house, I'm at some other location, I want to give myself and them some time to, to come back into their body fully and completely so they're you know, not going out on the road like this. So I just want to give them like 15 minutes so I can pack up my instruments and my things and they can settle back in. And then what I want to do is I want to encourage them to um, share if they feel up to it to share what the experience was because I know that sometimes it's so profound you, you really don't want to share anything you don't even want to talk but there are times when you do want to share and that you want to do that pretty soon because otherwise the mind starts to come in and it starts to say ah that was nothing that didn't really happen so I want to have them just kind of speak it and let them validate themselves and realizing that it did happen so um, I think that's it. Um, of course, you know, beforehand, no alcohol, meat, sugars, um, caffeine, uh, eat really light if, if people are eating. Um, you really want to, you know, have a, a stomach that's not going to have a bunch of gas and, of course, go to the bathroom beforehand and, um, you know, set, set an intention that really is worthy of this kind of um, transform, transform, transformative <laughs> breath work, transformative breath work, and uh, enjoy. Thank you.